My name is Devin Ray Hillary, born and raised in the Bronx of New York City, New York, North America, as a Jamaican Caribbean descendant. I have both autism and mild intellectual disability, and I was diagnosed with them at the age of two and a half years old. Autism is defined as a developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social interaction and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. On the other hand, intellectual disability is defined as a disability characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and in adaptive behavior, which covers many everyday social and practical skills. The main symptom is difficulty thinking and understanding. Life skills that can be impacted include certain conceptual, social, and practical skills, including behavioral hyperactivity, impulsivity, or restlessness. Luckily, my intellectual disability is considered mild. Many people would make me feel accused, misunderstood, and misinterpreted of being any negative news or company whatsoever. And as if things would never get any worse, anybody or most people would act suspicious that I am nothing but deviant or dangerous. They would purposely want to call the police on me because they believe that I am nothing but troublesome, discomforting, bothersome, and felonious to them for no reason. With those common negative assumptions and experiences to me and other people with autism and intellectual disability, those matters who are born and raised as any Negroes, such as myself, or any other certain ethnicities, are worse victims of fees concerns and situations. No person with either autism or intellectual disability, or both at the same time, in the world, especially me, should have any right to be treated as any less human being because I and all other autistic and intellectually disabled people all have genuine feelings, emotions, and sincerities. Their lives are vital and they matter. So does mine. Additionally, Neither I nor they deserve to be treated in any way negatively or unjustly by other people and society itself. Instead, though, people with autism and intellectual disability can overcome whatever they do or say in their lives, just as I have.